everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Spooky season is upon us and it is my favorite time of the year. I love having themed nails, but I'm not really good with nail art, especially in my left hand. And so this is where I use my Cricut to help me cut out nail decals. It's super simple to do and I do save myself a lot of money by doing my nails myself. And so if you guys are ready to learn how I do this, please keep watching and let's get started. So here I am on Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to open up my stuff. And that's just because I want the nail sheets. <clears throat> and so this is a design from a different project so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm just going to save it as a new project. To get the sizing, all I do is go into the shape and right here I have the, I think it's called pennant. And this is what it looks like. Here I am on my Amazon page and this is the kit that I'll be using. The link for these will also be in the description below so check it out. But this is the picture that I use to get the sizing of my nails. So I just look at the number and then based on what the number is I use those measurements. And then I just adjust this right here and you can make them longer and wider um, depending on your nail size. Since my nails are good to go, I can just start freely designing on these. Um, I want to do like a Halloween theme since, uh, you know, Halloween's coming up and it's my favorite holiday. So I'm going to go into Google. And so once we type that in, we can see here there's a lot of things that we can use. Um, I just try to find like a good uh, kind of like thick outline. So I kind of like this right here. Um, but I wanted a full one, so I think I like this one. I'm just going to save it to my computer. But I also wanted a spider, so I think I'm just going to save this one as well. Now we're going to go back into Cricut Design Space and upload the images we just saved. So clicking in Uploads, I go to Browse. And first I have my spiders. And since I only wanted that spider, I'm just going to crop it here. And I'm going to increase the tolerance just to get a better image. And I think this looks good enough. So I'm just going to apply continue and save as a cut image. Moving on to the spider web, I'm going to be repeating the same steps. And this one already had the background removed. So when I preview, you can see um, this is the outline already. So I just have to apply continue and save as a cut image. Now we're just adding our images to our canvas. And it's basically just about kind of deciding where you want to put everything. I did want to slice this in half. And so I'm just going to take a square. And I just want to slice it in half like this, so I'm going to select both and slice. And I just wanted to keep this piece. Now I can duplicate it. And flip, and I have both sides. Um, I also want to do a French tip. I think those are the easiest for me to do. So I'm just going to enter a circle or actually half a circle. And now that I align these, I'm just going to slice. And so that way we made our own uh, French chip stencils. We don't need to cut a template, so we are going to hide these. And now we are ready to cut. And here I just changed the number of 
uh, copies to three just because I like to have um, a few extra pieces just in case. And I'm just going to be using regular vinyl for this. So I'm going to select my material to vinyl. And now I can just load up my mat. Here I have my vinyl all cut and now it is time to prep our nails. And so I'll be taking a buffing block and just removing the top shiny layer of the nails. And now I just use the nail stencil to create my French tips. I'll be using Beetle's Gel Nail Polish um, number 580. Remove the stencil before you cure the gel polish. And then repeat the same steps to the rest of the nails. After curing, the gel polish will be sticky so I just take some rubbing alcohol and just wipe away the stickiness. And so now we can begin adding our stencils. I'm using Models 1 4 and one nail glue to seal in my stencil. And then we cure. Now just repeat the same steps to the rest of the nails. Okay, so here I am done adding my decals and now you can leave them like this but I like to just add some rhinestones and just be careful because they are still sticky so we are going to have to use another top coat on top of this and so I'll be using Model 1's top coat to seal everything in. This is my favorite top coat to use because it's a non-wipe top coat meaning that once you cured it's not sticky anymore and then you are done. And now that the nails are done, we can stick them onto our fingers. These are sort of like press-ons, so you can use the double-sided sticky um, kind of glue. You can also just use regular nail glue. It's all in your preference, and so I'm just going to let you guys watch how I apply my nails. here we go this is the finished product and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful please remember to like comment subscribe and share and also head over to my instagram and my tiktok for a lot more pictures and videos on my work and thank you so much for watching